Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne, and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. I know that I've been absent and I apologize for that, I've just been under the weather, but I cannot wait to get back into filming, so I figured this would be the best video to get started with because I absolutely love lip swatch videos, I love being able to try out different lipsticks, lip glosses, so today I'm going to be showing you all my favorite Gerard Cosmetics lip products. They are having a massive sale for the National Lipstick Day coming up, and it's going to be starting on July the 28th and it's running until July the 31st. So I'm so excited to be able to partner with them. I'm going to be showing you some of my very favorite Gerard Cosmetics lip products. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. You know what it is if you are not part of my youtube family what are you waiting for all you have to do is smash the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell notification so you don't miss when i upload a brand new video and if you are not part of my instagram family be sure to follow me at glam with suzanne just like this youtube channel name and a boxy charm sneak peek so for those that are not familiar with gerard cosmetics i am absolutely obsessed with their brand you guys know that i use their makeup a lot on this channel my favorite eye base of all time would have to be the gerard cosmetics clean canvas eye base that stuff is just my holy grail product Product. I use it before I do any eyeshadow look and I'm sure you guys have seen it a lot on this channel and as you guys know I'm obsessed with their Slay All Day Setting Spray as well. They have so many really really cool products that you should definitely be checking out but today's focus is going to be on their lip products. They have lip glosses, they have the Hydra Matte Formula which is an amazing matte formula that's actually really hydrating and comfortable on the lips. It's super long wearing, it does not flake off and honestly when you do wear it and eat it fades out really really evenly which I am absolutely in love with. And the best part is they have such a great shade selection for each type of formula. I couldn't be happier with their lip products. So when they asked me to partner with them to do this video, I was so, so, so thrilled. And as you guys can see, I am a Gerard Cosmetics lip junkie. I have so many different shades here. It's going to be really hard to select my favorites, but I'm going to go ahead and try. So for those that don't know, they are having a massive sale coming up on July the 28th. And all their lip products are going to be for $10, which is an absolute steal for the quality that you are getting and it actually works out to be more than 50% off in some cases so you guys have to check them out I'll be sure to leave all the information in the description box below but enough rambling we're gonna get right into the lip swatches go ahead and start doing the lip swatches in no particular order because these are all my favorites I'll be sure to also list everything in the description box below in case you guys are interested in checking them out of course so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna be using my compact so I can make sure that I don't block the camera when I'm doing the lip swatches and as you guys can see I'm changing up my setup I'm definitely trying something new so I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below as well so let's go ahead and jump right in the very first shade up is the Hydra matte formula and everything nice and this is by far one of my favorite favorite lip products of all time it's honestly a holy grail nude for me it's the perfect like peachy nude color so let's go ahead and start the swatching This is the shade Everything Nice in the Hydra Matte Formula. And as you can see, it is the perfect like mid-tone nude for me. Honestly, I love this formula. It's super, super comfortable. Even when I press my lips, it doesn't cause any transfer. It's not sticky or anything like that, which I absolutely adore as well. And I'm not gonna get into the formula again. I just wanted to let you guys know how much I absolutely adore it. And as you guys can see, I did not use any lip liner at all. It's just the perfect nude for me. And I won't be using any lip liners for any of the lip products that I'm using today because I want you guys to see them as true to color as possible. So let's go ahead and jump into the next color. I know my lips are gonna be burning at the end of this. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. To get rid of any of the residue, I'm just putting a little bit of foundation that's left on my brush just to get rid of any of the color that could have potentially been left over from the previous lipstick so let's go ahead and pick another color in next lip product up is also a hydra matte formula and it's in the shade mile high So this shade Mile High is honestly such a beautiful, beautiful pink color. I would say it's about a mid-tone pink, but just such a beautiful shade. And I feel like it's very, very wearable for every day. Just an awesome, very, very wearable pink color. I think I'm going to go in order from like light to darkest, um, just because I don't want any staining of my lips and I can kind of see that happening potentially. So the next shade up is going to be, is the Hydra Matte in Bare It All. So let's go ahead and give this one a try.
Here is the shade Bear It All, and it's a beautiful, like, kind of light nude color on me with the undertone of it being like a light brown, sort of peachy, warm brown. Absolutely beautiful, though. I can get away without wearing this with a lip liner. I would prefer probably to put a lip liner on it just to give it a little bit more depth but it's such a beautiful shade that you can definitely wear alone, which is the nice part. And I absolutely love this one. It's very similar to the shade Everything Nice. However, this one is just a slight bit lighter. Going back in with my trusty lip wipe, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this off and I am dreading it already. Moving right along to the next shade up and it's also a Hydra Matte Formula and this shade is Skinny Dip. So here is the shade Skinny Dip on me, and this shade is just ever so slightly a light for me. However, I wanted to mention this because this is a cool tone nude color on me, and it's really rare that I could find a cool tone nude that looks really, really nice. Even on its own, I could still get away with it. However, I like it even better with a lip liner, and I know I said I wasn't gonna really focus on lip liners in this video. However, I wanna show you my favorite lip combo with the shade Skinny Dip. And it's also a Gerard Cosmetics lip liner as well. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm just taking my favorite lip liner by Gerard Cosmetics. It's called Share. So this liner is just going to give us a little bit more dimension. So I could have done a better blending job with this lip liner, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to show you. That Skinny Dip lip color is the perfect complement to the lip liner in Cher. And honestly, I think it's a great cool tone nude if that's what you're on the market for. The shade Skinny Dip would make a perfect center part for the lip. But do keep that in mind. The shade Skinny Dip is just ever so slightly light for me, but I do love it so, so, so very much as a lip combo. Moving right along to the next lip product up, and this is in the shade Cher, just like the other lip liner that I showed you. So here is the shade Cher on me, and I absolutely am obsessed with this color. It's one of my favorite colors, especially come the fall time. It's the perfect like medium tone plum color, and it works well for every single complexion out there. I feel like you guys are gonna be absolutely in love with this shade, and you really, really have to check this one out because it's just so unique, and I haven't really found anything else out there just like this shade. At this point, my lips are officially tingling from the makeup wipes. However, we are going to push through because the next shade is an absolute winner. It is one one of the best sellers out there it is the shade 1995. It's like the perfect sort of like everyday, kind of like a little on the grunge side, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And as you guys can see, the lip formulas for these Hydra Mattes are absolutely stunning. It's like one swipe opacity, just a great color payoff. So now that that's dried down just a little bit more, you can kind of see the true color. It's an absolutely beautiful, deep sort of nude shade, at least on me. And I love the undertone of this nude. Although this is about a mid to about deep toned nude for me, this is the perfect everyday lip color for me. It can go with any sort of eye look that you are going for. And it's not too grungy, if you know what I mean. It's definitely a lot more wearable. And honestly, there's just nothing like this color out there. And I know that you guys are going to enjoy this one. So you definitely have to check out the shade 1995. Moving right along to the next shade up. And this is a Hydra Matte in the shade Sedona. And this is another really good one. So here is the shade Sedona on me, and I absolutely love this color. This color definitely reminds me more of the fall, but I do still wear it in the summertime as well. This is the perfect sort of terracotta brown color, and I feel like, again, it's really, really gonna be wearable on a lot of different skin tones or ranges out there. You guys are absolutely gonna love this color. Again, very, very unique. It's like a reddish brown color. Moving right along to the next shade up, this is the shade Immortal, and this by far has to be one of my favorite shades out there, just in general, for liquid lipsticks. This is a really, really beautiful, like blue undertoned red shade. It is by far my favorite, favorite liquid red lipstick out there. So let's go ahead and try this one out.
So here is the shade Immortal on Me, and it is by far, like I said, one of my favorite red lip products out there. It's the most iconic red shade. It's just such a statement piece. Reminds me a lot of Rihanna for some reason, just because I remember seeing her at some award show wearing a really bold red lip product, and it is by far one of my favorite looks of all time. When you are eating, it fades out really, really nicely. It doesn't actually stain the lips underneath, so you can go ahead and switch out your lip product if you want to. So I absolutely love the versatility of this red lip formula and it's just so darn comfortable and it doesn't settle into the fine lines how could you go wrong with this lip product you definitely need to check it out and again the shade is immortal and babes i am putting my lips to the test today they are officially like tingling and burning oh but i absolutely want to get through as many shades as i can for you guys so let's go ahead and jump into a little bit more of a deeper color moving right along to the next shade and it is called iced mocha So here is the shade Iced Mocha, and I absolutely love this shade just because it's so, so, so unique. It's a little bit more on the cool side, and it has like an undertone of purple in it, although it has maybe hints of gray in it as well, but definitely super wearable and just such a really nice, unique, and beautiful color. I absolutely adore this one. I usually lean towards the shade in the fall time, but honestly, I wear it all season long, and it's just such a really cool and unique color. Moving right along to shade number 10, it is also a Hydromat formula. It is the shade Mer Mercury Rising. This is the boldest sort of red orange color out there and I absolutely enjoy it for the summertime. You guys have to try this one out. So here is the shade Mercury Rising on me and it is the perfect fiery orange color. If you are looking for a bold summer color, this is the one I promise you. It is not for the faint of heart, as you can tell. It's really, really bold. Definitely a statement lip color, but every time I wear it, I get tons and tons of compliments on it. And I'm always super surprised because every time I wear it, I kind of like second guess myself, like, can I pull this off today? But every time I do, I'm always super, super happy that I did. So you guys definitely have to check this out. It's called Mercury Rising. So now that my lips are officially on fire, we're gonna move on to a different formula. I only have one of these to show you today and this is the Gerard Cosmetics Bullet Lipsticks. This is in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. This shade is just so darn beautiful guys. It is a metallic shade with lots of little fine glitters in it and take a look at this. It's like a rose gold dream. There's so many different reflex of glitter in there. You're just gonna get tons and tons of sparkle with this lip product. So let's go ahead and test this out. Now, I love this lip shade so much that this is my second one. I had to replace it. And there you have the shade Hollywood Boulevard. It is like a disco ball on your lips and I am absolutely feeling this. I love this lip product when you just want something a little bit extra and you just need that extra bit of wow and sparkle in your life. This is a lip shade for you. I love pairing this with a clear gloss over top and I'll show you what I'm talking about because a clear gloss really makes the glitters pop and make them look even more dazzling than they already are. So I'm just taking a little bit of clear gloss on my fingertip and I'm just gonna layer over that color. And there you have it. This is the perfect rose gold glittery gloss. Especially for the summertime, I love a really sparkly gloss and this combination is absolutely killer. So now let's go ahead and see what else we have to play with. We right along to the next shade up and this is the gloss and it's just so beautiful, the Gerard Cosmetics packaging for their lip glosses. So, so, so stunning. This is the shade Pink Frosting and it is one of my favorite shades of all time from them. You have to check it out and I need to show you guys something unique about the Gerard Cosmetics packaging as well. On the side of the packaging, as you can see, there is a mirror there. So if you are out late night and you need to reapply your gloss, you could easily just use this as a mirror. The really cool part about their lip glosses is what's inside. Beyond the lip gloss, of course, there is little LED lights in here. So it's perfect if you are on a night out to use this little mirror and apply your lip gloss because you have the illumination from these LED lights inside, which I find so very clever. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on. So 
So here is the shade Pink Frosting, and I absolutely love this shade. This is an everyday lip gloss for me. I always throw it in my purse because it gives you the perfect sheer wash of pink with really, really, really fine shimmers in it. So it makes your lips look really nice and plump and juicy. Absolutely love this one. And their lip gloss formula is really, really comfortable. It's not overly thick. It's not super, super tacky or gummy or anything like that. Just a really comfortable formula, which is right on theme for Gerard Cosmetics. So this is the shade Pink Frosting, and you need this in your collection. Next lip gloss up, this is the shade Cocoa Bean. Again, beautiful gold packaging. Just so, so, so luxurious as far as their packaging goes. And let's go ahead and test the shade out. Again, a really super cool LED. So here is the shade Cocoa Bean on me, and this is the perfect chocolate lip gloss. I want to show this to you guys because I know there's not really a lot of chocolate lip glosses out there just in general. And I love this one specifically on my mom as well because she's a deeper complexion than I am. And this wears so beautifully on her chocolate skin. So you guys definitely need to check out the shade Cocoa Bean. It is a delicious brown color and definitely a lot more opaque than the other lip glosses that are in the Gerard Cosmetics line. This gloss definitely packs a punch of color along with it. You can wear this gloss one of two ways. You can really sheer it out and get a really nice light brown gloss or you can go in a little bit more opaque and get a really nice chocolatey lip gloss color. Now last but definitely not least is this shade over here. This is the Gerard Cosmetics again lip gloss in the shade Nude. Definitely a staple in your collection. This is the perfect warm peachy tone nude. So let's go ahead and try this color out. So here is the shade Nude from the gloss collection. I absolutely love this color. It is a little bit on the lighter side, but I could still get away with it. And I am totally here for this peachy nude lip gloss. It's just so perfect and just sort of makes your lips look nice and plump and hydrated. And I absolutely love the undertone of this nude gloss as well. Definitely worthwhile checking it out. And that is the last one and I couldn't be happier. My lips are officially burning under here. I hope and pray that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up just for the pain alone. But I absolutely enjoyed making this video in collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics. So thank you guys so much for letting me do this. And be sure to check out the Gerard Cosmetics Massive National Lipstick Sale. It's running from July the 28th till July the 31st. So be sure to check them out. All their lip products are going to be $10. $10 is just so affordable and it's a great time to check out all the different lip products that they have. That is a more than 50% off. I'll be sure to leave the link down below and I'll be sure to list all the shades that I had in this video in the description box as well. I cannot wait to see you guys on another video very, very soon. Until next time, be sure to join my YouTube family by smashing that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page, Glam with Suzanne and Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. I hope you guys are all safe and well wherever you are. And I cannot wait to see you guys very, very soon. Take care, babes. Bye-bye.